um because we're we're in operation you know we're underground we're we're producing um but we're we're kind of a hybrid in that we're we're still developing right now we're in the, the pilot plant phase uh up 300 tons per day and the the goal is to is to you know basically double that capacity to like 600 700 tons per day uh in the, you know probably next year We have Ronan Gagan with line one. How are you, Ronan? Pretty good. Pretty good. How do you see? Good. Not bad at all. Well, thanks for coming on. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, I know that we're going to meet in Atlanta. Well, if you can tell us a bit about your project and what you guys got going on over there. Yeah. So, so I'm line one. Uh, we have a Chubachu Gold, uh, Alkaline Gold product in Fiji. Um, and so the key there is that it's alkaline. Um, so it's these like types of deposits are you know are kind of few in number but then they they're like tend to be quite large um and so the they're the type of deposits that the majors go after most of the alkaline deposits uh in the world are, are already owned by majors so that's like uh you know Cordra, Lahir, uh Cripple Creek and Vatacola just up the road from us about 40 kilometers away from us in in Fiji um and so Vatacola you know for example they've been in in production or in operation for about 90 years. They produce somewhere around 11 million ounces of gold. Uh, and so that, that's kind of where, where, where we're, we're trying to take Tabachi. Uh, and we're just uh, just sort of starting in, in the production. Um, we're at you know, 300 tons per day right now. So, and, and, and ramping up. That's kind of in a nutshell. <laughs> for those who aren't familiar, can you share with us kind of the different projects you have? And then if you can... Tell us about your flagship and your jurisdiction, the location, and kind of the structure, infrastructure you have go going on there. Yeah, so I'll, I'll touch on uh, the jurisdiction first. Um, this is PG. Uh, my my background is a geologist. I've worked in the field for you know, 10 years. And, and I didn't know too much about PG before joining the company. Um, but it's actually you know a, a, a great jurisdiction. Uh, obviously, the geology is, is, is great. Um, but it has that mining history that I just touched on. Uh, and so we, we we kind of benefit a little bit from that. Um, a lot of our miners are, you know, third generation miners that have worked at Vatacula for a long time, um, and 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 the government is very pro uh, mining. Um, you know, it's gold is you know, one of the top experts in the government which, uh, from the country, which most of them don't know. Um, and for us, like some of the infrastructure, you know, Fiji is you know a, a little uh, Pacific island. But you can fly there directly from Vancouver, LA, Hong Kong, and there's an international airport, which is you know 45 minute drive from our site, and we have our, our own uh, acid lab, our own big drill rigs. So, so we're kind of self-contained in, in um, a little bit on the, on the, the projects. Uh, so to the the you know our, our flagship product obviously is Tuvatu, um, you know the gold mine. There's a high grade uh, narrow vein gold mine, um, and, and and so that you know. We, we, we're continually drilling it. We have three underground drill rigs uh, that are always drilling out, so we're we going to produce uh, good drill results. Then going out 500 feet, as you say, the Chubatu uh, is just one of a potential sort of forest of these type of uh, products in the Navalada caldera. So we have you know, seven kilometer wide Navalada caldera, and there's deposits or you know surface showings all throughout the caldera. Um, you know, like a kilometer north of Chubatu, for example, we get you know 90 grams. This is from a channel sample on surface, 90 grams per ton, uh, which is extraordinary. Um, and and then you know another few kilometers away, we have Nana Creek, a very high grade gold there. And mo and most of these deposits or mo most of these you know targets haven't had any real modern uh, exploration or modern drilling. You know, so so that would be where we find like, the next Chubatu. Uh, which is which is quite exciting. But that's the the Jibachi we've been then you know fund the exploration for all the other projects. So with all these projects, what stage do you find yourselves in for these? And what kind of upside and potential are investors potentially looking at here? Well, so Jibachi is 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 far and away the most well developed um because we're we're in operation, you know, we're underground, we're we're producing. Um but we're we're kind of a hybrid in that we're we're still developing right now. We're in the, the pilot plant phase, uh, at 300 tons per day, and the the goal is to is to 
you know, basically double that capacity, you know, like 600, 700 tons per day, uh, in the, you know, probably next year. Right now we're at 300 tons per day and, and we're doing a phased uh, expansion or ramp up. So starting with a, a flotation circuit, which will be, you know, at the end of the year, will be, will be an operation at the end of the year. And that will be built to the higher level as well. Uh, so, so that's two bar two. Yeah, that, so that's the most advanced. And then just near two bar two, we have uh, some other prospects like the West Zone where we're drilling. That's maybe five hundred meters away. That, that's fairly well advanced, but there's no underground development or anything. We're drilling there from the surface and, and discovering quite a bit. And that'll be the next um, next target to, or prospect to add to two bar two. And then, then the rest of it, these prospects are are predominantly, you know, just exploration with the, uh, um, you know, surface sampling and channel sampling and and some some drilling here and there, but that's the, the the big the big upside is on the exploration. But also within I should mention in Tuvatu, we're just working in the in the top uh, kind of the shallow near surface portion. But as you go deeper in the mine, you know, we get to the what we call zone five hundred, and that's a lot higher grade. Uh, so the mine lets get bigger, and so there's a lot more potential in Chivatu as well, both uh, down and laterally. Um, so there, there's, we're really just sort of scratching the surface right now uh, in terms of potential. So Ronan, correct me if I'm wrong, but Lion 1 is primarily a gold play. I know that you have some copper as well. Can you tell us what else you're finding? and uh, yeah. What you yeah, so it's a, it's a, it's a gold, gold company. Um, but you mentioned copper, so like the, the Navalar Caldera, there's been, uh, you know, some some exploration for copper, uh, you know, as far back as the 1930s, I think the, when the Japanese were in there, doing little addicts and picking up, picking up some copper. But the, there hasn't really been any any modern systematic exploration for copper. Uh, we drilled a couple of holes and then hit, uh, you know, like three intercepts of, of you know, 0.15, 0.17% copper, each intercept of like 100, 170 meters. Uh, and so we, you know, potentially like screwed the outside of, of, a, of a bigger system. But, but within the Navalala Caldera, so it's long been hypothesized that there's a porphyry copper uh, gold uh, deposit or system in there, but it hasn't really been explored for. Uh, so that's something else that, you know, uh, is just potential for the for, for lining. Awesome. Could you share about the plans for the upcoming year? The next quarter, the next year, and what what are your plans for growing the company? Yeah, so, so yeah, so so um, so we're kind of in the process of uh, of ramping up, uh, and so we, we just finished our raise board ventilation project. So up, and I think that was maybe finished a month ago, and so up until then we we couldn't go uh, deeper in, in the mine. We're kind of limited, but now with the ventilation up and running, uh, you know. We can go, you know, all the way to the other five hundred zone. So that's the first thing. That, and we're also adding more mining equipment, uh, and specifically a mining equipment for for narrow vein uh, mining. And so that equipment, some of it's already on site, some of it just arrived within the past week or so, and, and so it, it will come in the next few weeks. So that'll help increase the production. And and then the, there's another two other things: the, the shrinkage scope. So so we're we're developing our first shrinkage scope, and that will come online. Uh, this quarter, uh, so it's looking at May, June, and then and then both of it in July. The nice thing with the shrink stuff is that it'll it'll be taller, uh, maybe thirty five meters tall, and we can keep the the width very narrow and get uh, production uh, regularly out of it. Um, and then uh, a little beyond that, the flotation uh, flotation circuit will be added at the end of the year, and so we expect that to add uh, to increase our recoveries uh, to over ninety percent. So so that's that's pretty exciting. Um, I mean, add the mine and, and the, the flotation and the ventilation, then you know, things are looking quite up. Did you tell us a bit, a little bit more about yourself and just how you got plugged in with Lion? And if you can tell us about the Lion One team and uh, what kind of history of success are we looking at here? Yeah, so so I, I mentioned I, I'm I'm a geologist in my background. I, you know, I worked in exploration of you know, gold. Copper exploration, some, some diamond, for, for about ten years, and then I did my MBA and, and, and joined Line One, kind of on the public development side. Um, and the team here is, is is quite phenomenal, really. Like, you know, it, you, you have to talk about Wally Walter Brookup, our, our chairman and founder. He's been uh, uh, in Fiji since you know, two thousand eight, uh, and so there's there's 
don't really know in the industry that knows BG as well as he does. Uh, and then he has a long history of success. He's uh, uh, you know, sold uh, the con line, uh, told Miramar to, to move on for one and a half billion, sold uh, Northern Rhine. Uh, so he's had a, a history of these these like, big successes where we sold these companies for over a billion dollars. Um, and he's and he says that the the line one is the best of all. Uh, our CEO Ian Burzens actually worked with Lion, uh, with with uh, Wally at at the con line. Uh, so he's he's a mine engineer by background. He has a a, a huge wealth of experience as well. Um, worked in several underground gold mines. Uh, you know, Rice Lake, for example, brought that from ten thousand ounces a year to eighty thousand ounces per year. Um, yeah, so, so it's a, it's it's the great team and the the you know, best team for the job. And then who owns the company? Can you tell us a bit about the equity ownership? Who, how many insiders, what percentage, and then any institution yeah. you like to share? Yeah, yeah. So for the the uh, insiders, it's about ten percent, and a and a you know lion's share of that is is Brock Wally and, and his family as well. Um, probably about fifteen percent, fifteen to twenty percent of the uh, of the uh, institutions. Um, yeah, and so some of those be like uh, our our partners, uh, Franklin. Uh, you know, yeah, and so they're about fifteen percent, and then or more so fifteen to twenty, and then a large retail shareholder base. A lot of all of them have been with us for a while. What about your shares outstanding, fully diluted? If you can tell us about the, about the corporate structure and warrants and yeah, so there's a uh, a little less than three hundred million shares outstanding, but like two hundred ninety eight, uh, and then fully diluted, uh, about four hundred forty five million shares, uh, and some of those will be coming off the books. Uh, this year, next year, but so it'll all drop down by 420. Awesome. So you guys got a pretty interesting gold play. You got some copper, you got mine mining friendly jurisdiction, you got the leadership, you got the team. Uh there's a lot of upside. Is there uh any risk that you're kind of having to mitigate at this time? Uh, so the, the big challenge with it. With the part of it is that it's sort of it's complex, and that's why we're we're, we're taking these uh this sort of phased approach and developing uh you know from three hundred tons per day to six hundred tons per day, um, you know because like we're we're underground and we're as we get underground we just learn so much more about the deposit, and and so that's as as we're developing we're kind of refining our, our mining methods, um and 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 milling and so like the mill is working quite well, um. And then the mining equipment that we're bringing in is, is to help uh, to help sort of maximize our production. Um, yeah, but it, it's uh, it's it's really it's pretty exciting when you get down under and you can see these these uh, these uh, like really high grade uh, things. But, yeah. Any any final news you'd like to share with our listeners that you're able to share? And after that, if you can share us with uh, about your Ticker and where you're trading, as well as where we can find you if we have any more questions. Yeah, well, so we're, we're always we're always doing. Uh, we'll all, we have like regular drill results out, um, and so you can go on the uh, website and look at the and you can sort of see, um, you know, like 100 pounds per ton is, is pretty, you know, pretty regular for us. Uh, you know, the, the biggest about a month ago, I think we released the, the greatest uh, uh, drill. Result, you know, we would have which is in a place on hundred grounds per ton over over a narrow width of like point three meters. Um, but then the goal is obviously to to mine it as, as narrow as possible on these like really high grades. Um, so you can go to the website. The website is lionmill.com. Um, the ticker in, in on the in, on the venture exchange is, is LIO and not OTCQX. It is LOMLF. Um, yeah, you can reach us at info at lionmill.com. Great. We'll see Ronan in Atlanta. Looking forward to seeing you there. And uh, thanks for being on the show and look forward to following your story. Thank you. Thanks for having me.